Today we're gonna test to see if we can cook these burgers on this rocket stove or at this pile of sticks. The one nice thing about this company is when I ordered it, after we got it, I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna pack this thing? So I contacted the company and said, hey, do you guys have a storage case for this? And he's like, well, I could probably sell you something or you could go buy a five gallon bucket. And that's actually pretty cool because it saved, saved money, plus it fits totally right in there. So we have the EcoZoom Versa and the Versa model has two chambers because it's a flex fuel so it can burn wood and um, charcoal. They make two models. One just burns wood and it has one big opening and then the, the dual fuel has two openings. If you're burning charcoal, you just close that one, drop your briquettes in there, leave this one open and it sucks air into there. We mostly use wood. Actually, we've never used charcoal. So starting the rocket stove, super easy. Open both chambers, get your uh, sticks ready. Load just a couple of your bigger sticks. And what they recommend is not any larger than one inch. So you gotta remember the smaller the stick, the hotter the fire will be. Rocket stoves, they say, can use 70% less fuel than compared to an open fire and produces 60% less smoke. So the basics of a rocket stove is you have an inlet where it sucks cold air in, you have the burn chamber, and then the exhaust's going up. And once that burn chamber gets hot and starts burning, pushes the exhaust up and sucks more air in into the bottom. And inside that chamber, the, your air doesn't have a chance to escape and so it theoretically burns all of the things it needs to burn to, to have a cleaner fire. And we use a cast iron pan, add a little bit of oil. You keep pushing in your sticks and every once in a while you can lift up the pan to see what kind of flames you have going. Looks like our onions are done. Today we're going to be cooking up two Beyond Burgers. Each side and see how we are. If you notice that your, your temperature is a little bit too low, you want to add some of the smaller sticks, you know, some of that, that kind of size. If you're, if you're too hot or you want to cook longer and slow, add up to an inch stick. And this is where you want to utilize your push stick to push, because it gets pretty hot right there. Push your sticks in. We'll add a couple more. Give these guys a flip. Ooh, they're nice and crispy. Probably a little hot on that side. Cheese shreds on here. Our burgers turned out pretty good. So we finished cooking up two burgers and our onions and we've used just honestly just a handful of our sticks that we had. I was cherry picking out the dry ones because those burned a little bit hotter, but we still have plenty. They could probably cook a whole nother meal with those sticks. <laughs> oh look at that, rocket stove. If you like this video, give us a like and we'll see you next time.